four into one, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna show you. There's no dawdling around, this is it. This is the visual, the very simplified visual of uh, the secret of how to become a high value woman. Now, maybe I need to talk in about the high value woman because maybe yep. not everybody has that. Yes. Mm -hmm. like, yep, yeah, people are gonna, gonna be like, I mean, people are going to be like me. Like, I was like, okay, what do you mean by that? Like, what's a high value woman? And I have to be honest at first. I was like, listen, yeah. is that derogatory? Because yeah. I'm not sure, you know, like yeah. there's so much confusion in the world right now that I, I automatically was like, um, I'm not sure that you're going to have the same views of a woman and what her identity is and what her mission is, as I do. And so I was a little bit skeptical. So I can imagine that there's other people that are just like me that are going to be a little bit skeptical and are not really sure what you mean by that. So um, explain the high value woman and what, where that comes from and where we get that verbiage from. Okay. Well, I don't know who originated it, but I know the voice that is the loudest right now, his name is Andrew Tate and he is a very successful kickboxer. Um, he has he has gained a lot of attraction from the male population because he speaks so strongly about men and masculinity. He's like calling men to tap back into their masculinity, which I think that part is wonderful. I think that part is fantastic. Um, there are parts of his conversation back. I maybe we I should have prepared to show the little snippet of you know, like his 20 second snippet, but his idea is he, he's sort of, um, I don't want to say old. I almost want to say primal in his, um, in his opinion of women, or at least the way he projects part of it. There's a piece of his message that just as a woman who's worked through all kinds of crap myself and with other women, it just rubs me, <sighs> like it just rubs me wrong. So his idea is um, a high value man and a high value woman is basically who is the most desirable to the other sex. And you determine that by the number, just like any market by demand, like who wants this product the most and how many. So the lingo for the high value man is a man who has high income, basically is what high income, high social status. That's the claim that women want men who have a lot of income and um, high social status. And then for the men, the claim is that a high value woman is as close to virgin as possible and gorgeous. That's what makes a high value woman in this conversation. <laughs> okay, so I know the women were like, okay, that's fine. We like pretty women too, but like, that's not all that we are. And we like men who make money, but that's not all we want. So then my like, debate, like if I could sit down and have a conversation with, with Andrew is to debate this high value thing, because part of what he's saying is it's, it's just the, okay. So a woman is to be as close to virgin as possible, but the claim is that a man's body count, that's the lingo. How many people somebody, ha somebody has sex with their body count Men can have a super high body count. In fact, a lot of people in this line of thinking, they encourage men to have a high body count because they think that it makes it more desirable to women. Um, I guess studies are showing that women want men who are wanted by other women, which is true in my eyes, but not necessarily had by many women. <laughs> That's where I would go. Um, and I think men do the same thing to women. They see it the other way. They want a woman that a lot of men want, but again, not have had. So, so this whole thing in my, this whole picture came in my mind of like this make-believe conversation I would have with Andrew Tate or people <laughs> like him to, to sort of articulate the way I see things. Um, so is that enough? Did I, and did I break it enough? So I, my definition of a high value woman is different than what Andrew Tate, and I'm going to use Andrew Tate to like his whole, everybody that is in that same like ideology. Is that fair? Like he'll just, he'll just be the ringleader of it. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to um, take the pieces that I like about that message 
and then add to it or like edit it to get something that I think is healthier and more successful, more productive, rather than going back to this weird like polygamous idea that he teaches. It's sort of pimpy. It's just, it's kind of gross. Um, yeah. It gives the man a good like chest pump, but it just feels gross as a woman. Because what it says to me is to be a high value woman, I must be a virgin and I must be gorgeous which are all very hard things. We know as a woman, all the things that go behind the scene to become those. And we would happily be a very virtuous, gorgeous woman. Like that's not anything that we would be like, no, I don't want to pursue that. Um, to say that my result, like the reward for that is to get a cheater. That's what he's, even after marriage, just expect to share your man. If he's a high value man, just expect to share him. And as a woman, but I'm like, mm, I'll take a lower value man. Thank you. I'll take a poor man who's completely faithful to me. So that's the whole concept of like, I want us all to rise together because of what I believe. So maybe that's a good time to show us that.